Tonight, Palmetto Utilities is hearing from the public on a possible sewer rate increase. A town hall meeting just got underway at the North Springs Park Community Center on Clemson Road. It's expected to last until 7.30 tonight. Another meeting tomorrow night at 6. We'll be at the Lake Carolina Elementary School. And just last night, dozens of residents in Lexington made their voices heard during a public hearing about a proposed rate increase for the Blue Granite Water Company. Blue Granite is proposing a rate increase of 35 to 55 percent and sewer rates by 56 percent. A Blue Granite spokesman says part of the reason for the increase is because of smaller municipalities increasing their services. The next public meeting about all of this takes place Thursday at the Irmo Municipal Building at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, some lawmakers are expressing their frustration with the group responsible for approving utility rate increases, the Public Service Commission. News 19's Jacob Reynolds tells us more. At a town hall this week, ratepayers criticized a blue granite water proposal to raise rates 35 to 55 percent. Senator Dick Harpulian was at the meeting and says he was concerned as well. Well, that these, these folks are going to be put in a position where they can't pay for water, they can't, won't be able to afford water and sewer. And that's absolutely ludicrous. In recent months, the Department of Consumer Affairs has filed to intervene in the Blue Granite case. They've also filed to intervene in the Palmetto Utilities rate case, which would raise sewer rates almost 28 percent. Representative Chris Wooten says these cases are emphasizing scrutiny on the Public Service Commission. Well, hopefully we've learned a lesson with V.C. Summer. That the PSC needs to really look into things a little bit deeper than they did originally because I think uh, the heartburn has not gone away from what happened with V.C. Summer. This is like V.C. Summer 2.0 is what they've called it because the, the continuing effort from large utilities to take money away from the hardworking people is just not stopped. The commission, which has the authority to approve utility rate increases, has four seats up for election this year. Harpulian says he wants to change how that happens. You know, I'm looking at uh, perhaps legislation that would have the governor appoint with advice and consent of the Senate and that their terms be coterminous with the governor. So a governor comes in, he appoints his PSC, he or she appoint their PSC. Um, and if the PSC does what this PSC has done, um, there would be political hell to pay. Harpootlian says it's unlikely incumbents would be reelected by legislators this year. At the State House, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. And Representative Wooten says there have been some conversations about reforming how South Carolina utilities are regulated.